Hey everyone, welcome to the official Terwisha construction training video on invoicing with Procore. My name is Elise Haugen and I am the subcontractor liaison here at TWC. Today I'm going to walk you through our invoicing process so you can feel confident each time you need to submit an invoice in Procore. Before you can bill in Procore, you need to have a Procore account. If you know you already have one and have logged in before, you can use those same credentials to access TWC projects if we've invited you. If you're not sure or you know you don't have an account yet, open your email and look for a Welcome to Procore invitation. This email will have instructions on how to set up your password and log in. If you already have a Procore account and have been added to our directory, you may have received an email invitation to bill that looks something like this. You can click on the Yes button or the little View Online link at the top left of the email and be taken right to Procore. It's a good idea to respond with your intent to bill on these emails to avoid receiving future reminder notifications. Once you have an account set up, Navigate to app.procore.com and you should see this page. If you're having trouble logging in, click the Reset Password link below the Login button and an email will be sent to your inbox with further instructions. Select Terwisha Construction from the drop-down menu and this will bring you to uh, TWC's project list that you're involved in. Click on your project and then go up to Project Tools and click on Commitments. This is where all of your subcontracts on the project will live. Click View. This is your subcontractor overview page. Go up to the top right and click Create Invoice. The dates are pre-populated, so just enter in your invoice number. It's for your reference only. Ignore materials presently stored and just enter in the amount from this period. Scroll down to the workflow setup and in the Creator slot, search for your name and enter it into the workflow. Do not change anyone else's names in the workflow, just worry about the creator, that's you. Click Save as Draft when you're done. You will now see the finished draft of the invoice you just created, so now we'll need to sign it. So hit Export to PDF, and there should be three pages for you to print out. Sign the first page, and on the third page, list any vendors that you purchased materials from this period. This page needs to be filled out every pay application. Once you've signed everything and filled out that materials vendors list, go back to your saved draft invoice and go ahead and attach the signed invoice. You can then even add a little message at the top saying invoice is signed and vendor list is filled out. When you're done, hit submit. Your invoice will now be sent to TWC for review. If there are any areas incomplete or documents missing, um, it'll be returned with an explanation of what is missing through Procore. Keep an eye on your email for updates. Okay, so you're probably going to have questions. That's okay. You've literally got an army of people here to help. If something is not working in Procore, such as a button's not working, the page isn't loading right, or you're seeing an error, you can reach out to Procore support. They are more than willing to help you. They have a phone number with agents standing by. Uh, their email is support at Procore.com. You can reach out to them anytime. They'll answer within 24 hours. And they also have a live chat system. You can find this in Procore. You can click on the little question mark on the top right of your screen. And there should be a live chat option, which will open up the chat right in Procore for you. You can also go to their support site and click contact support. If you have a question about this particular billing process, something that was covered in the video that you have more questions on or you need some clarification, reach out to me directly. You can reach out to me at ehaugen at twcinc.com. Here's the important part. If you have any questions regarding payment, you will need to contact your project manager. They are the only ones that are going to have that information for you. Anything else, reach out to me. Thanks, guys.